Hey girl, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is LaMonica. If you've been here before, thank you girl for clicking on this video. So as you see by the title, today's video, we're going to be talking about symptoms and signs to pick up or know before your missed period to recognize that you're pregnant. Um, I'm going to be looking down at my notes here. So let me pull these out. These are some of the symptoms that I've had before my missed period, before knowing that I found out I was pregnant. If you want to know the story and see the real like <laughs> clip of me finding out I was pregnant and telling my husband telling you guys how I told my husband make sure you check out my last video it'll pop up here on the cards or it'll be in the description box below but yeah let's jump into this video so first and foremost let's talk about the symptoms that are all out there when you research you research Google YouTube there's so many symptoms out there and a lot of these symptoms are very similar to the symptoms that you'll have during your menstrual cycle, such as like cramping or sore boobs or breakouts and acne, um, feeling fatigue, uh, maybe having an appetite, a huge appetite, maybe losing your appetite. The list goes on, right? Um, but a lot of those things were not the norm for me. Even during my cycle, I didn't have, uh, you know, cramps and all that during my cycle. So this is very different. And I knew because we as women, you know, you get to a certain point where you know your body, right? I knew my, I know my body. I knew my body. I knew something was off. Something was different. Um, and I just had to like put all the pieces together as the days were going by because you don't want to test too early, but you don't want to test too late. And you're like, wait, that's, you know, you know, I don't even know if you can test too late. Can you test too late? I don't even know. Anyway, you don't want to test too early to the point where the tests are, you know, completely off. Um, it's already, you know, enough going on in your head to be taking a test in the first place um as well as it's already enough to try to read the test and it's already confusing enough so yeah that's that um so a lot of my symptoms let's go into my symptoms because that's like the shebang on the types of symptoms you can have very similar to your menstrual cycle but my particular symptoms first and foremost like i said it's about knowing your body I know that something was off, something was different. I wasn't kind. I wasn't being myself. One of them being having mood swings. Like I just, I'm not the type to have mood swings when it's that time of the month. If anything, I'm more fatigued than anything else, um, and I just like kind of lose my appetite the first two to three days. Um, but this was a different type of mood swing. Like I was just irritated off of even seeing people's face. Like that was weird to me. <laughs> that was weird to me. Um, I was irritated off hearing certain people's voices. Um, I was tired. I definitely was tired um, and taking naps. Like I, I did not take naps before. Like I don't take naps. Like that just wasn't a thing for me. Um, I'm an early bird. I'm gonna get up, do what I gotta do. And I'm gonna sleep at night when you're supposed to sleep. I also had some weird dreams. They were like random, like random people was popping up in the dreams and out in fields. Like it was just so weird. It, <laughs> it was weird. Um, so I was having weird dreams. I also was bloated. Um, a lot of the times when you're on your period, you do tend to get bloated and you're not feeling like yourself, um, wanting to wear your cute stuff. But this type of bloat was like, oh, I really gained some weight. It, like basically in your mind, you're like, is it a bump already? Like a pregnancy bump already? But no, calm down. It's not. Um, it's definitely just bloat, um, excess water weight, uh, I don't know, extra fluids, of course, because your body's doing some adjusting and doing some things very quickly that you don't even know what's going on. Um, and then lastly, the things that stood out to me, last two things. First being, I didn't have the urge to drink a glass of wine. I enjoy drinking wine and that's just my business. And I didn't even have the energy to do that. I didn't want no wine. Uh, something was just not right with my body. Like I was, I just knew. Um, I went off of my instinct. My gut instinct was that I was pregnant and Lord and behold, it was. Um, and then lastly, I had this craving for this meal. Girl, I don't really like soul food like that. Like I don't crave it. I'll eat it here and there. But your girl is more of a seafood girl. I'm more of a, give me a steak. Give me some buffalo wings. But to just be craving fried chicken, I need mashed potatoes with gravy on top string beans with the onions cut up if you know you know if your grandmother made your meals like that then you know i went out to the store and i grabbed all the ingredients that was needed to make this meal when i say i made this meal and i crushed that meal like it was my last meal i knew something was off because i don't just be wanting those specific things but like really what type is this what's going on it wasn't christmas yet it wasn't no holiday no birthday no nothing and so 
that's how I knew something was also off. Like, why am I craving this specific meal? Why do I want this so bad? Like, usually when I get a craving, it's like, oh, okay, I have this craving. And if I don't get it, then, okay, I'm not mad about it. Maybe I'll get it the next day. I was not going to sleep until I went to go get the ingredients. I cooked this meal and I ate this meal. Um, so those were the symptoms that I had to recognize that I was pregnant before my missed period. Now, of course, um, you'll find out you're pregnant after you miss your period. If you don't find out before, that's totally fine. Nothing's wrong if you don't um, see a positive pregnancy test before your missed period. Some women, they have to wait till after they miss the period and things like that. So um, sometimes the test can be a bit tricky. Sometimes our dates and stuff can be a little bit off. So I would encourage you to, of course, recognize your symptoms, recognize your body, recognize that um, the test could be a little wonky um, if you're not sure, because there are it's already a lot of emotion and anxiety going on when you're taking the test. So just be mindful of that. But nevertheless, just go to the doctor um, and take a pregnancy test, um, maybe an urgent care or something like that to know for sure. Because sometimes us as women, our bodies do so many different things when pregnancy is in the picture, you could be further along than you actually are. So just be in tune with your body. And I just wanted to share that with you guys um, some symptoms that could potentially be your symptoms um, before you miss your period. If you are pregnant right now, congratulations. If you are looking to be pregnant, these are some tips and some symptoms of uh, like recognizing before you miss period. And I am not a specialist. This is just my experience and what I've researched through, throughout my pregnancy and um, YouTube throughout my pregnancy and things like that. So I hope this was helpful and a little bit of like a sit down type of girl chat. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps your girl out. And until next time, love, peace and beauty. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.